I'm Mark Lambruni, and I'm the head of news audio at Vice Media. About two years ago, we had 60 days to launch Vice News Tonight, which is HBO's first nightly news show. It started with a small team of people. I was the first person on the audio team. And since then, we've grown. Um, in these two years, we've put out 414 episodes. I have a team of six mixers and a lot of editors have been able to design the workflow to handle audio and video start to finish. So it's completely seamless inside Premiere Pro. The challenges are kind of summed up between three different categories, time, quality, and compatibility. And Premiere Pro is the only product that allows us to satisfy all different needs. So in terms of time, we have to get out every day. In eight hours, it needs to be changed constantly. In terms of quality, it has to be up to the production quality of anything else that airs on HBO. And with that comes the idea of compatibility. You have such a variety of different teams that all need to work off the same project. Editors, AEs, ingest operators, graphics teams. Premiere is able to take the single product and satisfy all their needs between time, quality, and compatibility. And we're able to do it all with stock plugins, stock processing right off the bat. The only thing you need to be able to create a quality broadcast up to HBO standards is Premiere Pro right out the box. The all right is very organized. They have a lot of numbers, they have shields. An episode that we did was on the riot down in Charlottesville. We had a team down there Friday and two cameras filming the events of what happened. As we realized this was becoming a piece of national news, we changed the plan. We sent back about 20 hours of footage and the editors worked over the weekend. By Monday morning, they had it down to about 40 minutes. I designed a workflow system where every single sequence project is identical. Number of tracks, type of processing. We can split up this 20 some odd minute episode into different packages. So the different editors would work on it, telling different parts of the story, refining it, as the producers would go in and review it. Well, one person is not working on the package editorially, we can pass it off to color and mix. From there, we'll refine it, send the project back, and kind of marry the two together. So as it was all assembled together, we finally did the last bit of finishing in our control room for review, and the show played out at 7.30. And that kind of gave us this sort of access to a story that Nation was hungry to learn more about. Like I said, the gains are ridiculous. <laughs> we've changed the way we've thought about doing production entirely. The Premiere workflow has allowed Vice News Tonight to create content that is as up-to-date as possible and also make a production quality of any other documentary film that's released out there. It's like this sort of level of creative collaboration between teams. I feel like you can't get with any other product. I, I just really want Premiere and Adobe to just change the way people think about audio production, that you don't need to use other programs. It can all happen inside one. And I think like what we've done in the past 400 summit episodes in the past two years is proof that you can have a consistent competitive product with it.